Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do... Whew, man, I am drained. I am drained. Now, the live reaction of the video is rendering, but you guys should be... It should come out before the review, so... You guys can click right here for the live reaction to the latest chapter of Moggy. That being said, this week's chapter of Moggy... Yeah. It was mainly just finding out a lot of things about God, and about surpassing God, and the Mother Dragon, and the world, Zewell, and questioning what was first thought to be reality, and so on and so forth. So, this chapter had a lot of things going for it, it really did, alright? And the biggest thing, I think, in the chapter was the simple fact that according to what the Mother Dragon said, there is a being that exists on a higher dimension on the, than the would-be gods, than Ila, Il Ila. And the lifespan of these would-be gods is fleeting in comparison to that being. That's crazy. And we're finding out that Solomon's father, Elder David, he's actually trying to attain at least that same level of power. Where he's trying to reach a level beyond that of God. Therefore, this has led to the extremities in the world where God that was glistening, radiant with power when it first appeared 800 years ago is now all of a sudden losing its magoi at a very at, at an accelerated rate. And the end result here is that if Ela goes out then the world also goes out, which means the destruction of the world. And what I can say is that I like this whole talk, this discussion on higher level entities, higher level beings, higher level consciousness, and so on and so forth, because it does bring into question the purpose of one's life. It does. Especially when you know that a god exists. And then you find out that, that there are beings higher than God. And the fact that Solomon actually questions the notions of what God is. To me, I thought was fantastic. And even though Sheba and even Ugo were taken aback. There is nothing wrong with questions. There's not. Because... The whole meaning, the whole concept of God, at least in wherever they are, is odd. Because it's not a God that we would actually perceive to be a God, right? Because what we here in this world believe God to be is a being of omniscience, omnipresence, and so on and so forth. But in their world, God is simply the creator of the world and probably multiple worlds but the fact that their god couldn't finish couldn't finish completing the world and incomplete that's what the content the continental rift is according to ugo it is the incompleted portions of the world the incompleted portions of the world and what's very fascinating about that is that you have a being that should be able to just snap its fingers and then finish the parts, but no. So, it looks as if like the being that is higher than the first perceived God is the real God. Because that being manages the other gods in a way. That giant eyeball. So, it's fascinating. It's very fascinating how they're going about this Ela and Il Ela and how apparently God, Il Ela, because 
its magoids be ripped away at, at, at an accelerated rate. It all started 500 years ago. And I believe that's a, and I believe that's like the same time frame where Elder David built those towers to control people, to, to control the other species, with the exception of two. The like the red lions of some continent, like these dudes looking just disgustingly ferocious, and of course the mother dragons, because they have so much vitality, so much life force. But it all started then, and. Again, it's probably the reason why, I stated in my uh, live reaction, but it's probably the reason why his father has been so lenient when it comes to the actions of his son. Because if this is true, if Elder David is that powerful where he can actually compete on a level higher than God, or at least at this point in time, compete on a level with God since his actions are, since his actions are directly affecting God, then that means that this dude has significant power. If Solomon can manipulate the laws of physics, what can his father do? Yeah, and what I also want to point out is that his father had the staff, and I don't recall any of the staff having this, but it actually had like the symbol that we've always seen on the metal vessels of uh, individuals in the current world that, that that same symbol so uh oh uh oh hey 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 uh. like seriously like it's it's so and if you're wondering I'm tired today cuz today I had a I was sick last night I'm feeling better. No, I can't say right here, not doing so hot, but whatever. The thing here is that... Like, this is going a lot deeper than I first thought it would. I'll be very honest. It's going... I'll, when you bring in levels higher than God, then you're going really deep. Then, you know, then you're going really, 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 really deep. And Solomon made it even deeper about simply saying... That God is just a lump of power, a mass of power. It has no will. It has no thought process. It was the legend of God and the goal of Amatora was probably just, you know, it was probably bullshit. That's what he's saying. He's saying it's probably bullshit. And what's shocking to Ugo and others is that this completely goes against, well, not completely, but it does kind of go against what their purpose is. Not only in the sense of the mission of Alma Torah, but also in the sense of life. But that's the way you gotta think. The way Solomon thinks is wonderful. Question everything. I love it. I love it. This week's chapter of I mean, I touch on the mother, the mother dragon. Again, the mother dragon kind of knows that the, the, that there is someone trying to kill God, pretty much, to take over as God, to surpass God. Also, again, the beings on a higher dimension than God. Elder David trying to attain a level of power. It's it's directly affecting Ela. Where Eli is now all of a sudden becoming like a black husk. According to what was you know said by the mother dragon, if this goes down, then Eli will become a black husk. And its power, the power of the god. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just an empty shell. And the world, as an end result, will blow up. Or disappear, whatever. It'll, it'll be over. The lifespan of the world. Which means that they will all die as a result. So then you have the question, alright, fine. So if if Elder Dave wants to do this, does that mean that Elder David wants to, does that mean that Elder David knows about the existence of the being higher than God? If that's the case, that means that Elder David may actually want to surpass that being. He want he may want to go on like the sixth dimension or some crazy shit like that. 
I'm not too sure. The true almighty. I like this, man. I fucking like this. All right, man, yo. Because cause this chapter is mainly... You get a lot of information. And for that alone, I give the chapter in a great. But the visuals were on point. However, what I do want to say is that there was one thing that I didn't like a lot in the chapter. And it was the pacing. Like, the structure and the pacing of the chapter, it, it really threw me off. I'm like, wait, so, like, we're here, then we're here, then we jump here, then there's flashback in flashbacks randomly. It's, it, it's weird. So... That's the only bad part of the chapter, just the, its structure and its pacing. Everything else was fucking phenomenal. So the chapter ending, I'm going to give it a great plus, and I will see you guys later. King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe as always, and if you guys haven't seen, then the chapter itself should be, I mean, the live reaction to that chapter should be right here. Peace. Have a nice day.